Six on your side starts with the big six at six. Well, already a major hurricane over the Caribbean. Chief meteorologist Wes Wyatt tracking Hurricane Barrel. Will this system enter the Gulf of Mexico and have any impact on our weather? I'll let you know. And Barrel making landfall as a cate uh, powerful Category 4 storm. We've got to look at the devastation and where it's headed next. And breaking right now, a car goes off the road and into some woods. Our Taylor Pollock standing by with a look at who police are on the lookout for. And heartbreak for a family of a man killed in a hit and run in Birmingham. We speak to his family next. Sarah? Well, oh, Josh. Alabama Senator Katie Britt sitting down with us for an interview. What she says about a new legislation for in vitro fertilization and what that could mean for you. Plus, dry conditions sparking warnings. What authorities want you to know ahead of 4th of July. And let's go to West right now to find out how long these dry conditions are going to last. All right, Sarah, yeah, we had a little bit of rain over the weekend, but the dry air has taken over across our area again. Of course, a big story right now. I want to update you on Hurricane Barrel. Winds of 150 miles per hour maximum sustained. When you get to 155, you're talking about a Cat 5 hurricane. It just doesn't get any stronger than this. And when you look at it, you can tell that uh, there's no sign of weakening at this time. But typically with a major hurricane, as it moves along, you'll see eye wall replacement cycles, things like that that can happen. So it, the intensity might fluctuate wait some, but where's it going? Well, here's Cuba, Jamaica. So for folks, I actually had a viewer sent me a picture on Facebook from Jamaica today, and I know a lot of folks uh, take cruises, travel in those areas. There's going to be some impacts uh, from the northern part of this hurricane there around Jamaica, but the center of the hurricane stays just to the south and makes a landfall around the Yucatan on Friday. Then what's left of this, if it's still a Cat 1 hurricane or a tropical storm, moves over the southwest Gulf of Mexico, and long-range data takes this thing in towards the uh, northern Mexico or Texas. I still think next week some of those remnants, some of that tropical moisture at least could move our way and enhance our rain chances. So that's what we're seeing in the long range. Just giving you the first alert and we'll talk more about the current uh, weather that we're dealing with and how that could change by the fourth coming up. From the first alert desk, I'm Taylor Pollock. Tara and police are asking for your help tonight in locating a man that they say is wanted or charged with multiple crimes. All right, follow me here because this could get a little complicated.